told you he would be back. But you didn't listen. Yeah? Give me your cup. And tonight, the spook returns. Buenas tardes. Hi everyone, welcome back. Ay, 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 calmaos, calmaos. <laughs> Hi everyone, oh my god, this is so exciting. Today, 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 <laughs> today this episode is so exciting. We're actually going to be doing some crafts or you could say some painting, relaxing tape. No tape. mistakes, just painting. painting. No, wait, what is it? There's no mistakes, just... Oh, no, ¿cómo era? Oh, my God, I'm having such a brain fart. ¿Cómo decía el Bob Ross? Uh, I don't know. There's no mistakes, it's just happy... Oh, yeah, there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> yes. And then we're just going to pretty much be doing um, okay. painting, talking about, of course, it's spooky season. And today we actually have a special guest, as you could tell now. Um, we have brought her in before. It's Can you please time. introduce yourself? My name is Melanie, and yeah, <laughs> my second time. Uh, okay, all right. It's her second time with us, guys. All right, Melanie. And um, tell us a little bit about yourself. What are your interests? Um, art here. Nice, nice. What do you do for fun? Like, uh, you know, sports. I know you entered middle school. Yeah. How is that going? Uh, it's okay. Did you, was it what you expected? Kinda. Kinda. Um, do you have like new friends? Do you have lockers? Yeah. You do have lockers? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fancy. Ooh. I had lockers too. You did? Yeah. Dang. I had I lockers when we, I was I at mean, Yonkers. We had okay. We had lockers, but for but it for, was only for, for yeah for oh. we had lockers for if we were like in weight training class like electives and stuff or we were Another. going to um pretty much change to our gym clothes. Yes. Like, we had lockers for that. And then a lot of girls would keep their stuff there, too. Like, yeah. certain things, you know? Um, but, um, yeah. No, I, I meant, like, like lockers, like, in uh, High School Musical and all those uh, Disney oh. movies. Like, you know, like, in every typical movie, high school or whatever, middle school, like, they meet at their locker to go to their other classes. Yeah. Like, that's what I meant. Do you need a pencil? Yes, too. Uh, so at our school, um, there's, like, the girls' locker are in the middle and the boys' locker are on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> all right there we go. but yes oh okay i see what you mean but it's only for for like sports or is it as well just for, just art? for oh that's cool anything. okay so she is fancy <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think i think that's i think si se usa eso. Uh, do you guys have lockers comment below you know if you're still going to school yeah si eres igual de ruco que nosotros pues tú ya sabes que estás viejo te duele la rodilla te duele la espalda toma romo pan yeah. no and i think it's so it's so fun because i mean i guess um i remember when i was in middle school i mean in middle school we actually didn't have lockers like that or we didn't i mean that was until freshman year um our middle school was with elementary school so oh, it was combined okay. so i think yeah. that had to do a lot with it um we had i think kinder until um eighth grade so it was it was a little different i guess but it was so much fun i think um so now that we're talking about middle school and stuff um are you guys doing anything i know you know obviously halloween is coming up i know usually uh people like teachers um either they do little festivals and stuff like that um are you guys doing anything or have you guys done anything uh school wise with like the whole school no uh-huh but i think we will yeah for halloween but who knows well yeah because it's it's gonna be on a uh, wednesday right Tuesday. 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 Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, so you'll be in school. You'll probably be, be doing like candy stuff probably. Yeah, but the teachers they like decorate their classrooms. And they did? Yeah. Oh that's cool. Um now, so guys, just so you guys know, we are n nobody knows what we're gonna be painting in our canvases. It's a surprise after it's gonna go within the spooky season. So whatever we paint, it's what we paint. Um and we'll be revealing that 
at the end of the video. So while we're painting, we want to let Melanie talk a little bit about, um, obviously, growing up, um, some of us, for example, myself, I was telling Eduardo the other day that when it came to Halloween, I mean, now, obviously, we don't really celebrate it at all. Um, we have different beliefs, obviously, but I feel like just be knowing that it's spooky season, it's fall, just makes it different, you know. Um, it's not about, obviously, going out and getting candy or, or just at all a celebration at all, but um, it just brings the seasons to, you know, that, you know, you'll be expecting different um, things like Christmas, Thanksgiving coming up, then New Year's, right? So it just gets more exciting. Um, so I remember when I was a little back, like, Ooh, back, back, back sheesh. in the day. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and um, I actually, I never got to really dress up. Um, I only, I remember being always a wizard, which my mom would be like, you're a, wizard, so you're a wizard today or you're a wizard for this year. And next year, you're a wizard again. And she would do my makeup and everything. She'll like, I had a wizard. It was blue. I remember. And it was just literally like a bata and a, a gorro cook. with like moon, a star and stuff. So it was like, and I had a little, like she'll buy me little accessories for it every year. So like I was the same thing every year, but different. Wait, but you like never dressed up as anything else? No. Never. Um, I remember one time my mom said, okay, well, you could be a witch this year. And I would just do, I just, I would just have what I can, right? Like I would put it together myself or my mom would help me with that. But my brothers, on the other hand, they could be Power Rangers one year, the next year. They would be um, ninjas the other next year. They would be turtle, uh, ninja turtle. turtle, ninja, turtle ninja. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Ninja baby. turtles. Oh, you, you know, different stuff. I remember Christian was once a scream. So it was just they got to really play with all that stuff and, like, actually experiment dressing up, I guess. Um, but I definitely don't remember being other than a wizard and a witch. So, I don't know, Melanie, you tell me, um, tell us a little bit of, you know, different costumes and what you thought about. And which one was your favorite, actually? Uh, so, I remember one year I was um, little Bo Peep. Bo uh, Peep? From Toy Story. Oh, okay. The one with the sheep. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> cute. I mean, that one I kind of like, it was just like kind of uncomfortable. Uh-huh. And then, um, I remember being a cop. I think I remember you being a cop too. Yeah, I, I kind of like that one better than the little bit peep. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to go on based of my mind. Okay. And then um, uh, last year I was um a witch. I think, yeah, a witch. Yeah, but you were like a fancy witch. <laughs> one of those fancy witches. I remember. I remember seeing you. You were like the you. You had purple, right? Yeah, it was a purple witch with polka dot skirt. Yes, I remember that. Um, do you remember any other costumes, like being a princess? I think one year I was a princess, but I just can't remember. Yes, I remember you being a, a Snow White. Yeah, it was you Snow were, White. Yeah, you were a Snow White. You looked so cute. Yeah. Um, I remember also, which one was in? I think you were also, a, was it Beauty and the Beast? Bell, uh, yeah. I, I think you were Bell too at one point. Um, I don't know why I feel like I was a Cinderella. I think you were also Cinderella. I know your mom had so much fun with you because you were the only girl at that time. Yeah, at, had, that time. She, at that went, time. Went, went, went. I remember her like having so much fun dressing you up and stuff. Mm, yeah, like for the costume, she would like be so excited to get me things. Yeah. Um. Now that you're older, do you feel like um, it's still, f like, exciting to dress up? Or do you think it's kind of getting old now? Uh, a little bit of both. Because how old are you? I'm 11. 11, okay. I mean, to me, you're still a baby, right? But Yeah. But I feel like still dressing up, it's fun. It's fun. there's, like, they add new costumes. Uh-huh. So I feel like it's still kind of fun to dress up and get candy. Yeah, I think... Um, I think, especially being a girl, there's so much to dress up as. Yeah, I feel like there's more sections as a, more sections, more costumes as a girl than a boy. Oh, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Babe, do you recall dressing up? 
Ya, yeah, I was a chunky monkey. Estaba gordito cuando... Bueno, estoy gordito. Ahorita que hay muy... No, bueno, ahorita estoy flaco. Soy puros huesos. No me de comer mi esposa. Uh, no, pero... Uh, ya, yeah, pues yo estaba gordito. I was a chunky monkey. So for a lot of years, I was a pumpkin. ¿A pumpkin? I just pumpkin. a pumpkin. Yeah, like I had a pumpkin suit. Uh -huh. Like orange, big one. That I would just put on top of my clothes and then I would paint my face orange. And I was a pumpkin. A pumpkin? A pumpkin. That's why I like pumpkin spice, you know, huh? <laughs> but actually, but uh, when you said like your favorite like dress up, um, it would have to be um, in kindergarten because uh -huh. I was still, estaba flaquito en el kinder, yo todavía, yeah, I was a, literally what this is, that's what I was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why you lying have you that? seen me, uh, Melanie, when I was little? No. You never seen my baby, like not baby no. picture, like little, like maybe Avon's age. No. I was as skinny as actually yeah I was as skinny as even that igual de flatito que 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 mi sobrino acá uh, but I was the Red Power Rangers from the original Power Rangers uh, the 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 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and it was just literally like the red suit and then you know those big old like latex uh, masks that they sold oh yeah yeah one of those and then we had a a parade for at school mm -hmm. y me acuerdo que they were giving out prizes. Y, y yo, pues, I had the big old mask. Y, pues, I could bar barely breathe. I could barely see. So I was just following. Na, hasta que llegué a la clase, no me viene diciendo una de las niñas. She was like, Eduardo, they were trying to give you a prize, but you never, like, looked back. You had one. I'm like, <laughs> ahora me dices, hija. <laughs> but, yeah, I was so sad. And I, I remember telling me Romero, she was like, I think you did, honey, but you didn't look. And I'm like. Oh, but this is why I love Mi Romero. Shout out to Mi Romero. Uh, you're listening and we know you are. Uh, she was my kindergarten teacher at Garfield Elementary. Woohoo! Uh, bless her heart. Ella me, me dio, like, I don't know if it was from her lunch or something, pero me sacó un Snickers de su drawer y me lo dio. A full size one. And she was like, I know it wasn't the price, but I, I know you did. I'm like, oh, and I was, yeah. So, quick story. That's cool. I just, I, I remember, um, I don't know. I I just I I just always remember Halloween being where as Mexicans and if you know you know <laughs> um we wanted to go to the rich neighborhoods because we knew they were going to give a lot of candy. And I remember my dad would, Park. Hey. My dad would actually drive like we would be walking me, my mom and my brothers. And then um I remember my dad would just be following us in the car and every time we would fill up a, a bag like we had We had different black bags in our car because we knew we were going to fill them up and we didn't want to be carrying like all that candy. But yeah, I think that was fun. So when you went home, you had a bunch of candy. We did. We had, but my mom would still wouldn't let us eat it. Like we, we would eat it, but not like all. Like we could never eat so much candy because we were fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ew. I'm a terrible drawer. Oh. But yeah, do you get to eat all your candy, Melanie? Um, yeah. Yeah. Look, um, no está para allá para defenderse mi jefa, bless her heart, pero ella nunca me decía no. <laughs> o, o, o sea, yo llegaba con todos los dulces y los echaban. Let's just say, I would have nightmares that night. Mm. Yeah. Y no, espérate. And then, oh my God, I got so, I'll shout out to the Simpsons, the Halloween houses, the horror, or tree house of horror. Uh, they would be on Fox. I would save candy just to watch the new ones come out. Yeah. And I would... Grew about on a candy. I'm talking about like, like, uno tras otro. Like, Dang. just, ch -ch -ch -ch, yeah. But yeah. And your I mom wouldn't tell you nothing? She'd just be like, Ay, te los vas a acabar. I'm like, pa esos son, jefa. And, okay. That's pretty much it, you know. And your brother wouldn't tell you nothing? No, nah, my brother. No, I give me my seed. He, I, he, no, nothing. And, and he would never even steal my candies either. <laughs> My mom would steal my candies. My mom too, actually, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would be like, Ama, yo tenía un sneaker. Ah, no, pues ahí lo oh, dejaste. My grandma, whenever I show her all my candy, she's like, oh, give me this one, give me this one, give me this one. You're like, does. Grandmama, you ain't supposed to be having candies. You got the insolence. <laughs> she got the insolence. Um, anything else you want to say, babe, when it comes to Halloween or what your experiences when you were little? Because I know you obviously coming from, I mean, us too, we didn't have so much money either. So, like, we obviously had to work with what we had. And there was times where, like, 
I, I oh, remember yeah. my mom, you know, kind of struggling trying to dress up my Why brothers. you think I was a pumpkin for three years straight? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, but yeah, I mean, no matter what, though, it was still fun. I didn't care. Yeah. I was like, I'll be the pumpkin. Shoot. We're getting candy. Yeah. I'd be like two, three different times to the same houses. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, yeah, and, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's crazy to, to it's crazy to, you know, really understand. But you, we as kid, little kids, we don't really realize all the, you know, when your parents can't really afford a costume. Because now they're so expensive. Oh, yeah. Some of them are like $60. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just like, how? Why? Like, it's just crazy to me, to be honest. But, yeah. Um, so, any... Um, <laughs> um, no, I was just going to say that... Um, any scary movies that you like, Mel? Uh, no. <laughs> I get scared and I have nightmares. So you nightmares. really don't like, like, you really don't enjoy scary stuff, right? I would, I do enjoy it. It's just, it depends on the movie. Okay. It's me that orange. Is that? The one over there in the back. That one. It's down here. Okay. So you. Like me, I don't know. It's so funny because I could say, yes, supposedly me, <coughs> I enjoy it. I enjoy scary movies, but I don't because I'm half of the time I'm not seeing the movie. You're I'm covering, covering my. Literally. Oh, yeah, half of the time I'm covering my eyes. Yeah, and I feel like that that's obviously not enjoying, I guess. I don't know. Even when it comes to like, like, um,. What La Rosa de la Guadalupe se tapa los ojos. <laughs> Even when they when it comes to um ASMR. Hi yeah, guys, so today um we're filming this like um I was telling you that I'm like we have to film and this I we've been waiting for this because we've been wanting to paint for all our lives. Right, babe? We've been yeah. wanting to paint. Want to be your little Bob Rosses. Yeah. And we kind of like really um, get into it. <laughs> De stress. Stop talking at one point. I'm so focused. True focus. <laughs> Word focus. Okay, guys. Are you guys going to dress up for Halloween? No. Uh, I don't have a costume. <laughs> We're broke. I bet you. This <laughs> is my I costume. Have. I don't have a costume either. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like back in the day, like, you would get excited for these things, you know? Can you pass me the green, please? Oh, no. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. So, guys, um, I know um, Mavis actually had a request for me. Oh, yeah. Shout out to the Mavis. Mavis had a request for me. She said she wanted me to... To tell the story, so it's kind of like a, it is a, um, I guess it's scary, it's more like, in a way, paranormal, more than scary, I think, um, and I told her, like, I, I almost think, I'm almost sure I already told this story before, yeah. but I guess I'll do it again, um, since we're, like, focusing and I want to, like, I guess, talk, um, so... There back in back, I would say maybe what was it like twenty? Well, I was put it this way: I was in high school, and we lived in Buckeye, and we actually um, and actually we were the first people that lived in that house, and I remember um. You know, everything was good at the beginning. Like, there was nothing that I would say that would scare me at all um, from that house. But it happened where it got to the point where, like, I knew something was wrong. Like, I knew there was something <coughs> there that shouldn't be there. Shouldn't be there. Yeah, exactly. And I, I remember telling my parents... Um, and 
I even remember one of my friends would tell me that just going in my room felt weird and they didn't even know what was going on. And it happened one time where I was getting, I was actually, I was asleep and I had to wake up to go to school and I had to catch the bus because there was no other way for me to get to school if I didn't catch the bus, the school bus. So I remember I would put up my alarm about 6 a.m. The, the bus would, I think the latest the bus would come from was like <coughs> 7 a.m. And I remember that that, that morning um, I kind of turned around in my bed and I remember I opened my eyes and the first thing I see was a figure of a, I saw later, literally I saw an old lady. <laughs> I saw an old lady that was staring at me, like watching me sleep, you could say. And I remember I was like, okay, what is that? Like I got freaked out because I, I could tell, like it was so in detailed her face because she was like literally like on the side of my bed like this and all you could see is from her nose up and I remember I could tell that I her eyes very small very wrinkly her face and I remember closing my eyes again and I remember turning around to the other side like, in my head, I was like, if I don't let her know I saw her, like, she's going to leave, right? So, I'm not going to lie. I did that, maybe. I turned around back three times to see if she was still there. She was still there. I would still see her. And she was the same way. She wouldn't move. Just the same, same way. And I remember that very, the third time I turned, she wasn't there no more. And I remember I I ran. And I was more, uh, I was more upset because I was like, I'm going to be late for my bus, you know, if I don't get up. So that's when I turned around the third time and she was no longer there. And then I um, ran, turned on the lights. And, yeah, I got ready. I tried to, like, brush it off and not think about it and just hurry up and go catch the bus. Went <coughs> on, went home the, that same day, nothing, everything was fine. And it happened where my parents, actually, they went out of town. And actually, I had told my grandma about about that, that what I saw. And they were just looking at me like, you're crazy. But mind you, that before that lady, actually, I'm missing a good part here. I had a friend over. I'm not saying, I'm not going to say names. But who? Who knows the story? They know what friend I'm just talking. I'm talking. Take about. Take another shot. <laughs> <laughs> and she she had taken she had slept over and she took a picture with at that time at that during those that time it was a flip phone that I had. Flip phone. Yeah, I had a flip mm-hmm. phone, and she took a picture, and I remember in that picture there was a a a face in the back of her. It was like around three a.m. As you could tell, we didn't we didn't sleep. Um, so I remember she was like, "What was that?" You know, type of deal. And she was she kept trying to figure out like what could have been, you know. And I was like, "Oh, it's probably the I had a fan." And I was like, "Maybe it's a fan," you know, the figure of the fan. But deep down, I'm like, "There's no way that was a fan." Like you could tell the eyes, you could tell everything. But I was just trying to you know ease her out. Like I didn't want her to get scared or anything. And then, um, but yeah. And that after that, that's when I saw the lady, too. So I was like, oh, my God, that's probably related to that. And my parents already had seen the photo, too, because I, I had saved it on my phone at that time. I saved it, and then um, I, yeah, after that, my mom was showing it to everybody to see if they, you know, if they thought it was. Esta señora. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Um but the thing is, the, the picture on the phone, it didn't look like a lady. It looked like a guy. So we were we were so confused at one point. So during all that time, um, things weird things were happening in the house. Footsteps you would hear. A lot of activity. 
happened and, and normal activity. And my grandma one time I went to school and she said that she was going to go upstairs. It was a two story house and she really of how much movement and running and everything that was upstairs. She really thought at that time it was my little sister, Jimena and my little cousin, Sebastian. At that time they were like two and three, literally, or one and two or something like that. Or two and three. I don't remember. But they were little. And she's like, oh, they're probably running upstairs. Da, da, da. I'm going to go and, and, and get them. And, you know, and she used to fold. Like, she used to go and clean her room upstairs during the day. Blah, blah, blah. And she said that she really thought they were upstairs running. When she's going upstairs, they come right behind her. My sister and my cousin. And then she's like, okay, then what's upstairs that's making all this chaos, you know? And... Since then, they started believing me that I was that I was hearing things and things were moving and blah blah blah. And even my mom, at one point, she was she used to open um, Burger King early, and and she says that she woke up about maybe two a.m., three a.m., and she says she heard a lot of movements. You know where my room was right above hers, and she's like, "Why is so she moving stuff around at this time? Like, what is she thinking?" She says she went upstairs. And I was asleep. So she's like, okay, that's weird. And then during all that time, I had this doll. Um, the doll was the, the doll. quinceañera doll, right? You, you guys know those dolls, porcelana dolls and Wait, stuff. was it a doll or a teddy bear? No, it was a doll. And I kept noticing the doll. The dolls, the porcelana, they're white. White. Crystal white. And this... They're white. This this doll was turning gray. And I'm just I didn't understand why. I was like, why is this doll changing colors? Like that's weird and scary, you know? And it got to the point we brought a priest. Um at that time we weren't Christians. Um uh, my parents everybody home, you know, they were calling themselves Catholics, whatever. And um they brought a priest, the priest went upstairs, he was running out of breath, lights turned off. And all he said was, there is a, a spirit here that hasn't been able to rest. And I was just like, okay. I could have told you that. <laughs> that's nice to know. How are we fixing it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He was like he was like Melanie yesterday where it's like, wait, you took a hundred from me. Yeah, I don't know. It works. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> oh, heck no. <laughs> and then, um, so... When all that happened, I was just like, I just really didn't understand, like, really what was going on. I was just like, I was upset because I, I couldn't sleep in my room. I was I was scared. I was scared because I was like, what is this thing going to hurt me? Is this thing, what is this thing going to do, you know? Like, what, it has, what did I do for him or her to follow me, you know? And that happened. So then we were just like. They they told us to like pray and this is and that as long as it's not hurting me it's not a bad spirit and I was like okay well it's not hurting me but it's scary and he the priest did say that um to just pray for the soul that can rest and I was just like okay finally it got to the point where like I just didn't want to let it affect me in any way. And I ended up sleeping in my room again. I was sleeping in my grandma's room for like maybe three months. And I was just get ready. I was just get clothes in my room and then go to her room and get ready and all that, right? I wouldn't use my room at all. And um, I remember one time my parents went out of town to Cali and me and my grandma stayed at home. And then she said, get close so we could go to your tia's house and we could sleep over there without we don't stay here. My mom? Yeah. And we, I said, okay, cool. And, you know, and I was going upstairs like if nothing was ever wrong. And, like, I was just with that clear mind, open my door from my room. First thing I see in the corner of my bed, it was dark inside. It's no lights are turned on. There's a kid. I see a kid, literally a kid, super paled. And you could say no clothes on. And I could just see him like curling up like if he was scared and I could just see his face his head bald and and I was just like what the heck and I closed the door right away and then my grandma's right behind me because she was gonna go get ready too and she's like what happened I'm like I'm not going in there there's a kid in there I just saw that and then she was like she was like are you sure like it's not are you sure it's not just your imagination I'm like 
really? Mm-hmm. You think it's my imagination after everything? And then she was just like, okay, well, I'll go in there with you. And I was like, okay. So, yeah, she ended up going in with me. And then um, and then after that, um, we I got my clothes, whatever, and then we left. And then I really never saw that kid again. And then my grandma said that she ended up seeing a kid one time when she was taking care of my sister and my cousin. And it was a kid that was running from my room to my brother's room. Or from my brother's room to my room. And then that she right away thought about, oh, well, that's probably the kid. So she saw, you know. And then um, it was just so much stuff going on. Which at first when we moved back to Phoenix, I was like, I hope it doesn't follow me. Which I don't think it did. Because I didn't feel anything anymore. Um, Wait, so that house was like haunted? I don't know. if I I guess it was because um, there was obviously stuff happening. But, um, and according to, you know, people that we know that that's, that house can never, people don't last long there, so maybe. And then when we moved, we actually heard, we heard a baby cry, like a brand new baby cry. And we're like, okay, we don't have babies here, so. Bye. Yeah. And then that's when, that's when we're cleaning the house to leave it all clean for the next people. So my mom was like. Okay, let's go. But yeah, guys, so that was kind of that story. Um, it's crazy to, to when you it, like it's crazy because when you th- you tell people certain things like this, like they look at you like, yeah, crazy. right. Like it's, you're probably you know you're not right in the head or something. But um, only when it happens to you, you understand that feeling. Have you guys experienced anything like that before? No. No. You, babe? I've seen a lot of things. No, but actually the other I day, I don't know if it was me or because uh-huh. you know how I have a vanity, right? Yeah. And then by the mirror, and I was like moving my room around because I was bored. Uh-huh. And then, I don't know, I think I was just imagining things. Uh-huh. Because... I see things. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I feel like I saw somebody like laying down on my bed wearing a red shirt. And then when I turned back, nobody was there. And then I came back to my mirror and nobody was there. I just thought in my imagination I was seeing things, uh-huh. which I probably was. So. so you think it was your head? Yeah, it was probably my Had head. you watched anything crazy, maybe? No. That's scary. Yo siempre me acuerdo de when I was in Mexico at my cousin Saul's house. <clears throat> uh, we used to, it was the summertime because I used to go for summer vacation en las vacaciones. Yeah. Y pues está un calorón allá. Está igual que aquí, el calor. Mm-hmm. And we used to sleep on the, in the living room, en la sala. Y era, era la sala next to the big window that was kind of like towards the street. Mm-hmm. And está la calle y lo a cruzar de la calle estaba como... En ese tiempo, era como terreno baldío todavía, but, like, estaba una escuela atrás de ahí. Mm-hmm. Ahorita ya son, like, canchas de basketball, basically. Oh, okay. But at that time, it was just dirt, right? But anywho, uh, me acuerdo que we, we, me and him used to put the, the couches together and sleep, like, ahí los dos. Mm-hmm. Y yo me levanté con un calorón, like, like, super, 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 super hot. Mm-hmm. And then I really had to go pee. Hey, pues me levanté. And I was closer towards... So from that sala, you walk straight into the kitchen. Yeah. Donde está la, the dining room table, está la, la estufa y el, el refri todo. And then you go down the little hallway. And then even that hallway was creepy. But I was just like, you know, half asleep. I didn't turn anything on. Mm-hmm. Todos estaban dormidos. Yeah, me uh, caminé, fui al baño, me regresé. Y en lo que me regresé, I was like, I'm going to get water, right? Uh-huh. Y tenían, metían un galón de agua en el refri. Uh-huh. So, los, so, me metí el refri, abrí la puerta y agarré el, el galón para echarme en un vaso. Uh-huh. And as I'm, I had the, the door open, because yeah. es para, para la luz, y estoy echándome el agua. Y en lo que volteo uh, to the corner, por donde está la, la hallway, uh-huh. que you go down the restroom y están los otros bedrooms. Yeah. I swear I saw alguien, like, así como escondido, like, 
up against the wall. Uh-huh. And but then like in my mind, I thought it was Saulin, my, my Saul, my cousin, right? Yeah. I'm like, trying to scare me, but I love you, right? Uh-huh. I was like, si, sí, como no. Le hago, no me, le dije, ya te vi, güey, no me vas a asustar. And then he's like, oh no, le digo, no me vas a asustar. And then I, I finished pouring the water. I put the, the water back into, into the fridge, closed it and turned around at the same time. You know, like when you close the fridge and turn around. Yeah. And I'm drinking the water. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then I, I look towards the, the the living room, right? Because I'm looking straight down. And he's there, asleep. And then I turn back, like, as soon as I see that, I turn back to where I sat, I had seen the, like, the... Because the, I only saw, like, because of the, sh- like, the light of the fridge, I only saw kind of, like, you would say from from your kind of chest towards yeah. your legs. But I was like, ah, it's ese way, you know? Yeah. In my mind, still kind of half asleep. But when I saw that, like, I woke up and I turned around. Nothing was there. I literally just put the, the thing on the, the kitchen table. Yeah. And boom, like, two-stepped it and jumped on the couch. <gasps> and and I was like, hey, wait. Y lo levanté, I think. And he's like, ¿qué? Le digo, ¿me estás queriendo asustar? ¿Qué? Like, I could tell he was asleep. I was like, no me está, no está jugando. Estaba dormido. No uh-huh. fue él. Y no había otro vato en esa casa más que el papá de él. And I know it wasn't him. Like. Uh-huh. completely different bodies yeah. oh she was like oh lord jesus y lo, y le, i think i did tell him and that we kind of woke up and just to hey maybe we we're getting jacked <laughs> yeah but no not nothing and then i was like and everybody's like ah, estás dormido. No sé qué. i'm like no i was like you definitely saw i saw i saw some yeah i was like Mm-mm. told you i've seen things that would haunt a normal man yeah i think i think only like you only know the feeling when you go through it you know if you know you know if you know you know you know <laughs> yeah like it's it's like the time that me and my friend we started fighting a skinwalker what? actually yeah i mean it might have just been a normal deer we're autistic <laughs> you're dead <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people, like, they get, obviously, like, weirded out. when. And a lot of people convince themselves that I just saw something in my head, like, because they don't want to deal with it. Well, yeah, because, I mean, if you give it more opportunity to mess with you, you know, it's... I've always... Like, I mean, one time at my brother's house, Mm -hmm. in my room... Oh, yeah, I think you remember Yeah, I I think I've told that story. Mm -hmm. I was asleep, facing the wall... Turned around, saw a pair of green eyes. Like, not like, oh, I no ojos verdes, que bonitos. No, no, the whole round thing were green, like dark green, looking at me. And I, like, threw my pillow at it and jumped up at that corner to, like, if I, whatever it is, I'm not going down like this. And no, there was nothing there. And I remember they're like, what the hell's wrong with you? And I'm like, I just saw some, some green eyes. Yeah. It's, I don't know. I know my grandma, like, tells me a lot of stories that, especially in Mexico, how um, a lot of things have happened. And I'm just like, oh, like, I don't know if I could ever go through something like that. Like, I guess you could say I went through something like that. I'm like, you did already go through. But, like, not like. I mean, once you go, if you think about it, obviously, you're like, I don't want to go through that. But Mm -hmm. when you're going through it, like. You don't even think about like, it. Like, there's people that have it way worse so that they're actually hurting them. Oh, you know? yeah. Like, I think that's... That's that's oh. way worse, yeah. Like, I don't know. Hey, like, we just like, boo. I'll be like, ah, you, that ghost has a prank channel, I think, or something. Welcome to Ghost Tube. <laughs> We're going to prank these humans today. Yeah, no. It's like... I don't know. It's, it's crazy. But, yeah, guys, always be careful. Like, don't invite anything crazy to your house. <laughs> like... No spirits. Please. You trust me, you don't want to deal with all that stuff. So she's been through it. And it's not that I invited anything. It's just that, it, I don't know. That's why I, I was so surprised when the the priest said that, you know, that there is something that could that has, hasn't been able to rest and da, da, da. And I was just like. I think that was my favorite part too about Halloween was all the Halloween specials for cartoons and stuff from Disney from everything oh. Halloween Town. Um, I like their Disney um, movies for Halloween. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, I mean, say what you will, Disney movies on Disney Channel were fire. Like, I was entertained. I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, I finished mine. Okay. You guys want to see? Wait, no, we have oh. to wait. All right, we'll wait. Then. You guys like scary houses? Um, kind of. I mean, not really. I mean, it's not that I don't like them. But it's not like, oh, I want to go to them. You know, I'm like, yeah, yeah. like people are like, all right, let's go. I won't be the person like, no, I don't want to go. But it's just like, it's not real. Like, you know, yeah. I've been in real situations. <laughs> I'll be like, ah, look, man, that chainsaw don't even have the chain on there. So you're just kind of. Hey, remember the, the uh, a TikTok on the side? Like, if you want to go to something scary, go to in in school. In oh, 27. Yeah, tr- yeah. So. I mean, if you traverse that lifestyle, um, yeah, ghosts ain't gonna scare you. Okay, I am done too, actually. Well, you're done, right? Because Hello Kitty is white. Yeah, she's oh. white. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. She's white. I mean, they only know it's a Hello Kitty, yeah. but they don't know what. Okay, she's you guys. White. So, um, all right. Yeah. Sure. So, guys. Oh, sorry. So now. Ahora sí. Ahora sí. We're gonna get. Let's start with Eduardo. Babe, tell us. Wait, hold on. Oh. You have to tell us what it is, what inspired you, and what you're going to do with it. Hi, my name is Eduardo, and I'm an alcoholic. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so for mine, I took um, I took uh, inspiration from the current uh, situation in which we are living, um, which is Halloween season. Uh, I also took in consideration my love in, uh, for the... Uh, a clemically uh, award-winning show, Pokemon. And lastly, I love dogs. So, yeah. A ver, All see. right. So I shall yeah, present man. it to them first, to you guys. Halloweeny. Oh, that's cute. Oh. Uh, and then the O is ghastly. Oh, uh, that's cute. I like that. She looks a little, little kind of like <laughs> drugs. But that's okay. You know, we ain't judging ghastly up in this. What do you guys <laughs> think? Ah, ah, perron, perron. That's cute, babe. And then, oh, what I'm going to do with it is probably put it away and it'll get really dusty until we somehow end up moving one day and it goes in the trash. <laughs> Just would. kidding. No, no, we're going to save it. I want to hang this. Yeah, we should hang those. Especially in our office. Oh, um, yeah. Like, one day. Yes. You should hang them above your computer. Yeah, honestly, oh, yeah. I would. Hell That's yeah. True. Oh, we could put them over there right for now. <laughs> or, 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 hey, Upstairs. or, or, uh, if you're watching this and you would like to win this beautiful picture, leave a comment down below. And, then, and please, we'll reach after you. we have revealed all our ours, please comment down yeah, below which one you like the yeah, best vote. and why. Uh, and we'll choose. And say who you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Melanie, your turn. Reveal, please. Um. So, my inspiration was Pinterest. Okay. I was going to Pinterest yesterday. <laughs> and I found it. And then it, there was supposed to be something on the bottom. But instead, I changed it to a pumpkin. Uh-huh. So, yeah. She oh. made it halloween You customized it. Kind of. Let's see. I'm not finished with the oh. background, though. Oh, oh, the background. Okay. Oh, cool. So oh. it's Hello Kitty with the pumpkin on the bottom. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to hang it up. Nice. nice that's pretty i like what does the crowd say what is, what is the background like what color the background is going to be what's your vision um i don't know i didn't figure that out maybe probably. like oh sorry I'm maybe black no no because the whiskers are black oh that's true i'll probably do like a pink fading into dang oh, okay. look at melanie with that okay guys uh what, what was it called i forget what the term is never mind i take it back okay but guys nice. so my inspiration is no i'm not ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay it's right so anyways i i guess i got inspired by a uh, candy and um a ghost and um i'm going to place it somewhere where i could just keep it it's, i think it's cute i uh, it looks i guess i don't know you guys judge hold on off and say hi to spooky the ghost the candy corn yes look i like it oh dang someone has the artistic touch 
So it actually looks nice. In the bottom, it was supposed to say spooky, and then on the side, boo. But I haven't finished. But I mean, that's the picture. Nice. I like it. That and it's spooky pretty. the ghost. Don't forget. A ver, comenten, digan cuál fue su Yeah, favorito. let us know cuáles les gustó más, and we'll have it. Um, and yeah. We'll see, we'll pick a winner and send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> you put it on your wall if you like it. <laughs> yes. And then, um, yeah, guys, again, thank you so much for staying tuned, watching. And again, like our videos. If you guys are watching or even passing by, just <laughs> we'll like the video. Just like it. No, no pasa nada. No yeah. les cuesta nada. And um, we're trying to, of course, upload more. And again, don't uh, miss out and keep up with us. Keep tuned. Tune in through Spotify, YouTube, watch and then, of course, um, watch my podcast. I'm actually going to be uploading a new video to Unburied Podcast. And again, that podcast is a little bit more personal, more situations. Anyways, and again, thank you guys. And we'll be back with more episodes. Gracias. Say bye, Melanie. Bye, bye, bye. guys. Woo. Steps on the